more lunch breaks. Hey everyone, today is a very special lunch break episode that you guys have always requested in the comments. We finally cooked for each other. Yeah. And for you guys. Yeah, but you guys can't eat any. We each made a dish for each other mm -hmm. and it's potluck style. So why don't we each go down and share what we brought? I, I think it's ladies first. No. Well, I, the apps dessert, towards right? Oh, towards right. So actually, this is actually a very good yeah. sequence, ah. actually. So I I, uh, I brought a salad. Yeah, <laughs> salad's very important. Uh, I always start at the salad bar at a buffet. Usually when there's a potluck, I, I go for the greens. And so I, instead of going for the greens, I made the greens. <laughs> Did you also make, make these spoons too? I didn't. The one thing that I forgot is a better bowl. Not Nothing against this bowl, but <laughs> a glass or wood bowl would have been much more preferable. It looks beautiful. Thank you. It's a summer salad. I'm just mm. calling it that. There's avocados, mm, I love heirloom avocado. tomatoes. I love heirloom tomatoes. And heir anything heirloom is like... They're better than the modern. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's some kale and spinach. There's mm. some uh, onions, uh, pepper, poppy seed dressing, lime. Yes. I actually like salads that are heftier. So I said light, but forget that. that, that. <laughs> I, I hope it's good. I've made this before, but there might be too much lime. So I, I made turkey sliders. They're homemade patties. Thanks, wow. Phil, for um, thinking about it. Yes, because, you know, yeah. well, it's also healthier than, healthier. like, you know, ground beef. You also don't eat beef. Uh. There's also no dairy, so Taylor can have some Taylor later. Have some. I like this board. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I chopped on the tree. The most. <laughs> Did, it just, did you buy these? No, I actually had them from a previous Wait, dinner party. Wait, did you party. use them? No, no, no. I have a bag of them. <laughs> so one of them is just like a very classic, just like kind of like a turkey club with like spinach and avocado, very Californian with like a garlic yogurt dressing. Wow. And then did the, you make that garlic yogurt? The garlic yogurt dressing I did not. So none of the dressings I made. Wow. And then the second one is like Hawaiian barbecue style. So there's like a pineapple Ooh. and like a sweet teriyaki sauce. And they're both on toasted Hawaiian bun. Oh. So that's for you guys. So this, is, this is like the cooking. Kahuna Burger? Kahuna Burger! Yes. Whoa! From uh, Pulp Fiction that mm. neither of them have watched. Mm. Big Kahuna Burger! That's that Hawaiian burger joint. All right, you're next. All right, I went to the other side of the world mm. and um, I did Mapo Dofu. My favorite! And, uh, wow. How did you? Oh my god! Dude, Chris, you I'm can smell it. This. Yeah, so. But I made sure it wasn't too spicy. So, thank you. Thank you. See, so, we both thought of each other. Yeah. Which is uh, tofu stir fried with like a fermented bean paste and mm -hmm. chilies and some ground pork. Mmm. Cool. That's, what, that's like literally one of my favorite like Chinese dishes. Wow. So, I, I'm really excited for that. And like garnish it with some, some green like onions. <laughs> For Wes. <laughs> I think yours is definitely the hardest one so far. Like you had the, probably the most uh -huh. ingredients. It's the most fragrant so far. <laughs> and then I brought some white rice. Yay, oh, nice. cute little pot. So I baked instead of cooking. Oh. So I made matcha wow. sugar Whoa. cookies. Matcha wow. sugar cookies. Yay. Dude, so Instagrammable. This is not the first thing I made. I tried to make macarons. Oh, Ooh, that's cool. like level like. I know. I, no, I made them before, like four years ago, but it failed hardcore. It's not like riding a bike. <laughs> it's not, it's, I'm oh. over this. And I woke up, I'm like, I'm gonna make sugar cookies. What kind of icing is it? Oh, it's white chocolate. <gasps> Drizzle on top. This one's like perfectly like. Circle. This is like let's go. The circle yeah, yeah. and the uh, striations. Yeah. Dude, you're, you're very talented. What happened here? So much oh. happened though. It looks like you sneezed and went, <laughs> oh, whoops. You uh, guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we all present our dishes, but there's a one more Tupperware left. Surprise contender. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, Subi. Ooh, Subi. <laughs> Ooh, Subi. Ooh, Subi. <laughs> it's Musubi. Benson and uh, Ashley and Taylor made these for us. Uh, there's like heart rice shaped it's balls. A bear. It's a oh bear. my gosh. Everything's Musubi. Be sure to push down on the sliders so that they don't slide out. <laughs> Did you guys only think I only made two at first and we all have to share those two? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> You're um, generous, man. I'm just gonna try it first before you guys do to make sure it's okay <laughs> and I'll stop you guys. Sure. Hey, not bad. Is not bad the same as good? That's what I thought this morning. <laughs> Tried my cookie. Oh, so there's a little surprise in there. The patties also have some corn and black bean in it. Oh, so it gives it a little bit more texture. Mm. That sounds very fancy. Fancy. Yeah, try the avocado one first. Burger time. Oh, there's the corn. You got a little corn? Mm. I like the subtleness of the yogurt dressing. Mm -hmm. I was gonna do a fish sandwich. Ooh. Mm. For West, like a fried fish sandwich. In order to do do this in here, like I would just have to like buy those pre-made fish patties or mm. fried fish whiz. I didn't want to give you guys like yeah, frozen I don't food. Do that. A salad with these heirloom tomatoes, red onions, avocados. There's a lot going on in Ooh. here. I was very generous with the avocado. I like the chunks of avocado. Whoa, it's really good. 
Oh, thank you. It could use a little bit more dressing, but I didn't have any left. Well, the good thing about avocado, though, Ooh. is that it be, kind of becomes its it own adds, dressing. It mm. adds that, like... Because once it gets smushed... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creamy yeah. texture. Mm -hmm. I don't usually like salad, but this is good. <gasps> Achievement unlocked. <laughs> I'm okay. glad you like it. I've been holding off on the mabo tofu, and I'm sure Jen's very curious. Can we jump into the, the tofu? Yeah. Chris texted me this morning. He says, I'm very displeased with my dish. And I was like, <laughs> and I said, I'm sure it's fantastic. So let's see if you were right or I was this right. This is fantastic. Mmm, look at his face. He's so, <laughs> he's so upset. Well, let me ask you this. Chef uh, Yang, what are you unhappy about with this? This is really good. I'm unhappy with the, the tofu that I got. Oh, don't you hate it when tofu disappoints you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't live up to his expectations. Chris right? Tofu. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it toned it down in terms of spice level, so usually there's that numbingness held off on that. I would have garnished it with some crushed uh, peppercorn. So that's a ma that's a in ma. Ma, ma po. So ma is like a type of a it's like numbing. spiciness. Oh, okay. Yeah. I taste the spice. You like it? What do you think? I do. I, I, yeah, I don't think I've had something like this. Oh, you just introduced her to like cool. a whole new <laughs> cuisine. <laughs> this is like Chinese home cooking, mm -hmm. you know? Like when Chris makes it, you can already tell it's like less oily. Roll the clip of his vlog and I'm just dumping oil into the wok. <laughs> You're right. I can see your disappointment in the tofu because the tofu oh, no. is... You're right. This is this one. <laughs> it is a lot smaller. Usually yeah, like yeah, yeah. mabo tofu is supposed to be cubes yeah, that you can cubes, see. Yeah. Great job. Jen, can we all enjoy your cookie together? Yeah, I actually like it. I might make it again. Oh, wait, this was your first time doing this? Yeah, I tested wow. it out. Did you? So it was a complete risk. You didn't follow any recipe? I did. Okay. But the macarons are such a macro wrong. <laughs> macarons. <laughs> These are better. I haven't tried it with a white chocolate though. Matcha and white chocolate can't go wrong there. Did you put the icing in like to a plastic bag and you yeah, cut the little yeah, edge? Yeah, yeah, oh. DIY. Very Looks good. like those piping bags. Exactly. <laughs> Look how freaking perfect this is. Look how easily this like. Oh. I love soft cookies. Hard cookies can go away and never come back. Look how perfect this is. It's like literally a this. Oh my god. It's like a. This is amazing. <laughs> Yay! This is great. I'm so happy. Yeah, I like the subtleness of the matcha because matcha can be very overpowering. Mm -hmm. It's not too oh, wow. sweet. Jen, these are great. Yay! It's the type of cookie I like where it doesn't crumble, mm -hmm. but it is still soft. Yeah. It's very easy to make too. I taste the butter. Don't tell me how much butter you use, and don't tell me how much sugar you use. <laughs> yeah. That's why I can't bake, because like, I always like... When you like, see it, you're like, oh. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. like, wait, it still wants me to keep wow. pouring? What? It's like this. What? How many cups? <laughs> I'm gonna polydeen this. How long have you been baking? Um, I don't do it all the time, but I think it's more fun. Because mm -hmm. I think like with baking, you can be a little bit more creative. I mean, you could with food. Like you can mold it and like, you know, things like that. I see, like you can be, you can make it cute. <laughs> yeah. all right, let's try the masubis. Because somebody keeps telling us to try them. Taylor, Benson, and Ash, you guys put Spam on rice and wrapped it in nori. Let's try it. Mm. Solid. Very good masubi. Like, Solid masubi. For me, masubi is good when it's like, it tastes the way it's supposed to taste. Mm -hmm. Don't do like, don't get fancy with it because it just needs to be what it is. And this is what it is. The great thing about masubi is it's so transportable. It's great for like hiking and road trips. To be honest, when I was a kid, I loved Spam. The first time I had Spam, I thought it was the most amazing thing. Mm -hmm. And then I like went to college and I found out what it was. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I stopped eating it. <laughs> I will only eat it in Masubi now. <laughs> Pineapple burger and Masubi is like, we both have like island flavors. Island flavor. mm. I feel like this is the most eating we've done. I'm yeah. We never talked, yeah, we never really talked about our food. All right, what do you think? All right, Chris, what do you, uh oh. Chris is, has a very high scale palate. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no! Wait, okay. No, I like it. Wait, really? Is the pineapple like too sweet? Like it doesn't go? Okay, I'll just answer myself. I like it. I like it. I think with the patty, the patty's too bland. You can like, add more seasoning. Yeah. I actually just said in my vlog, like it's something that's very hard to tell. Because mm -hmm. right now it's so sweet, the pineapple. And then the bun is also a little bit sweet. Right, that you needed more salt in the mm -hmm. patty. So, mm. I failed. I do like how the patty is nice and moist. Mm. Thank you. What do you think, Jen? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? It's good. <laughs> really? Okay. But do you think if you didn't toast it, the sweetness of the wine bread would come out more? Oh, you want to try mine? I didn't toast it. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want to warm it up. Yeah, sorry, it's all cold now. I kind of like soft bread better. Mm -hmm. okay. I have a consolation for for this sandwich, guys. I also made some guacamole. Yay. Wait, wait, where did? <laughs> so where did that come from? It came from down south, guys. <laughs> Just for the colors. So do you guys remember when you first started cooking? I actually have very distinct memories of when I discovered like the stove. Well, first of all, I think every kid's first experience with cooking is like a toaster. I mean, like, no, I'm like, cooking yourself. Like Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts, right? But the thing is, I realized you don't have to toast the Pop-Tart, you still eat it. So then I just, just, I just stopped toasting them. It's so much better though when it's warm. 
And then obviously ramen, you know, instant noodles. Uh, you know, maybe that's actually every kid's I, that was first mine. experience. Cooking, yeah. yeah. With a stove at least, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what did you guys start cooking, you know, in college? <laughs> I started cooking in maybe high school mm -hmm. to help my parents out. I mean, they would come home late, so then wow. I would like help and like... What a food. good kid! My cooking has started next year. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what about college? What did you cook in college? I don't even know what I did. It's do later, do it later. Yeah, I don't know. I think for me, I don't like the process of making it. I just want to eat it, like instant <laughs> gratification. And it's not fun for me to cook. Mm -hmm. But look how much know. it pays off. That's bacon. That's though. different. Four years is just a complete blur I do, yeah, of I, how you I, ate. My mom to be so disappointed. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember like when we first moved into the apartment, so that was like mm -hmm. second year. Because I think first year you're still making like, yeah, like instant noodles or macaroni cheese or whatever. But we got an apartment, you have a stove, and that's like when I first started like, cooking chicken with like a George Foreman grill. Ooh, that's it. I know. Yes. Oh, I learned how to make pasta for the first time in okay. college. So boiling I've never had water. That. <laughs> no, I've never had that. Like, my mom's never made pasta. Mm. Really? Like, like spaghetti? So then my friend was like, you just boil it. I'm like, what is this? Same as Vietnamese noodles. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, noodles you know, like, but like Italian mm. pasta. I was like, what is this magic? Mm. We actually lived together for five years. Oh, that's true. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you're like, I was like, what are you talking about? We didn't like live together in college. Oh yeah, after college, right. <laughs> that was a long time. So um, I remember you used to cook then. Through cooking, you obviously learn. I feel like it's more of like your mistakes, right? It's mm -hmm. like, oh, I, I shouldn't do that again. But sometimes the problem is, is I would cook so sporadically that I forgot what I learned the last time. Uh, so it's like, okay, chicken again. Oh shoot, how long was I supposed to cook mm -hmm. it? I feel like these days I've actually become a lot more interested in cooking just cause like more as like a, Creative outlet. The thing with cooking for me is um, I, I'm like OCD, so I like to have cleanup happening while the cooking is happening. So that by the time you're eating, you don't even have to worry about cleaning up because it's already done. Maybe that's why I also hate cooking because the cleanup part. Right. Yeah, if you clean while you go, it's way better. So I, I usually play the cleanup role while someone that's else nice. is cooking. <laughs> and it, it makes the experience more enjoyable. That works out for you. It's, it does. It's yeah. a nice symbiotic relationship. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like, you're done with this? Good, I'm gonna wash it. <laughs> I'm curious, do you guys have any celebrity chefs that you guys are fans of? So actually, my, we're family friends with Martin Yan. Yan can't cook. Oh, yeah. he's a legend. If Yan can do it, you can too. He grew up with my dad. Um, That's awesome. In China. Or something like that. I hope his kids aren't watching right now. I like Alton Brown and Gordon Ramsay. I love Gordon Ramsay and I like Julia Child's mm. cookbook. I like Giada. She's great. I mean, it shows that I do like baking because I watch baking shows more than Oh, so shows. yeah, so who's a famous baker? Cake. Stuff like Cake Boss and stuff. Oh. Um, Cupcake Wars. Those are fun. It's cute. Well, I'm extremely full and this was really fun to kind of feed each other. That was yeah, really yeah, nice. Yeah. I feel like that's like the ultimate act of like love and care is when you put in all that work and it's like someone else gets to eat it. I want to eat it. I'm very better. impressed with everyone's skills. Very good job, guys. Good job. I wish you guys could enjoy this yeah. too. Maybe we'll just throw stuff at the camera. I wonder how surprised they are that we know how to do this stuff, you know? Leave it in the comments <laughs> if, if you were surprised by should our uh, cooking efforts. Or should we start a cooking show? If you guys want to see how we made all this food, we actually vlogged a little bit of our process in our own kitchens. So click the video links. Bye. New episodes every Thursday.